Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by my corner of the internet. Today I wanna to debunk five home buying myths for you. Perhaps all this staying at home during the pandemic has you thinking about a new place to live. Home buying is a big financial decision, but if you're in the market, there are a few things to learn. So let's get into it. Before you get approved for a mortgage, the lender wants to make sure you can absorb the added expense. To do this, they look at your debt to income ratio or DTI. Basically, how much of your monthly income goes towards repaying current debts. What's important is not how much debt you have, but how it relates to your income. To calculate your DTI, you're gonna add up all your monthly debt payments and divide that by your monthly income before taxes. Then multiply by 100 to see your DTI percentage. If it's below 43%, you may qualify, though some lenders want it as low as 36%. For mortgage loans, the general rule is you must keep your new monthly housing costs under 28% of your gross income. This includes your monthly loan principal and interest, plus property taxes, homeowner's insurance, and mortgage insurance if necessary. Your down payment is also a big factor. The more you put down, the lower the mortgage. Mortgage lenders will likely pull your credit report during the application process. Yes, they will be looking at your score, but they will also look at your payment history, your credit usage, and any delinquent accounts when making their decision. Usually the higher the score, the lower the interest rate and better your borrowing terms. But lenders consider the whole picture, guys. There isn't one minimum credit score to get a mortgage. But if you had to press me for a number though, I'd say the minimum score is 620. But there are government backed loans that will go lower than that. One of the biggest myths out there is that you need a 20% down payment. Mm -mm. But if you have excellent credit and a reliable source of income, you could qualify for a conventional loan with as little as, guess what, 3% down. FHA loans exist that require just 3.5% down and VA and USDA loans do not require down payment at all. The caveat is that you will likely have to pay for mortgage insurance until you've acquired 20% equity in your home. So without a good down payment, your monthly expenses will go up. It's easy to get discouraged by all the fees that come with taking out a mortgage. Closing costs vary from lender to lender, but usually include charges like the appraisal fee, home inspection, loan origination, and application fees. You might also be responsible for charges related to preparing documents, securing title insurance, and running your credit. But at the end of all of it, closing costs run two to 5% of the sale price. They are paid at the end when signing all the documents and it kind of sucks, I know, but you know, having the cost in mind might help you not get caught with sticker shock. And those are the five big home buying myths debunked. Buying a home is a huge financial step, but it might be more attainable than you think. The better your credit, the better your chances of getting approved. Of course, you can always check your credit for free with Experian, okay? That's it for me, guys. If you like this video and you want to learn more, do all the things for me, okay? Hit the like buttons, the subscribes, the follows, the hearts, and the thumbs up and upvotes and swipe rights. You guys get me, right? everything else. I'll see you next time.